here we are in our very cool um, island pad in Dimipak, which is an island in the northern part of Palawan in the Philippines. And this is our base camp for the next uh, week or two. We're running missions out here, well in fact it's not out there, it's over the other side of the island, trying to catch uh, illegal fishing vessels. And there's talk of a, a big fleet of um, vessels per se, and it's based out of Manila, coming in here and taking all the fish. And the local people, they have exclusive rights to it in their little wee fishing boats. The big boats come and do a lot of damage. So anyway, this is our base. Great thing about it, solar panels down here. Check out these guys. There's no electricity on the island, so we've got to kind of do our best. Normally out there, we have our patrol boat, but the boys are going off to go and get it refueled at the moment, so uh, that's all happening. That'll come back soon. Um, this is where the Navy boys sleep. See a little bit of stuff there. So they have these little cocoon things, and then I think there's... One of them's on a hammock over there. In fact, well, I haven't seen any mosquitoes here. Eric here, if there are mosquitoes, he will find them. Because he is he's like a magnet for mosquitoes. <laughs> mosquitoes on Eric is like flies on shit. But it just happens. Um, <laughs> so we're kind of sleeping outside, but it's really, really warm here. Um, what else have we got? So this thing was built almost entirely with local materials. They did bring in some cement, and there's a few bits of nylon, a couple bits of steel. But all of the wood was off the island. Uh, all the thatching is off the island. The little twine that they've used to tie stuff together is off the island, the bamboo. I suspect this furniture here, I don't think this is off the island. I think this came off the mainland. Um, but anyway, this is my office where I work from in the day. We're kind of becoming nocturnal. Because um, we, we've got these patrols happening at night, starting tonight. And so I've got to become nocturnal over the next few days. Um, so this is where you guys hang out. Come this way. This is the kitchen. This is where the magic happens of the jungle barista. Um, I've got this stuff here. This is amazing. What was it called? Biko? Uh, Biko. Biko. And it's got, it's got uh, rice, coconut, brown sugar, and a couple of secret ingredients in it. It's just lovely. It's, like a, it's sort of very dessert, quite sweet. I don't think Eric's having any of that because he's on a diet. <laughs> How many pounds has he got left to lose? I got another 25, I hope. Another 25. He's going to be a gazelle when he loses another 25. Anyway, this is the kitchen where, where we do the cook-up. To be fair, I don't spend a lot of time in here. I make the coffee, and then I figure my work is done for the day. Right, come this way. We have a little track here. Runs along to, along to our place. Oh, you can see it. Oh, hang on, I'll show you down here. You can see where they, they've removed all the rocks from the beach down here um, to make it uh, easier for people to get in and off the boat sort of thing. I think they used, they used to have a yoga retreat here or something and they used to get the yoga part of their training was, oh, you've got to go and carry rocks off the beach. Um, my lads haven't formed for that. Over here we have a shower. It's quite a humble shower. You don't really need it. The water is so warm. So normally in the morning we just go out and have a, have a bath. Oh, <laughs> Theor theoretically we have a shower, it looks, it looks like it's out of water anyway. So sometimes they get fresh water brought into the island, um, but you've got so much, so much lovely water out here. The water's warm, eh? Oh, so nice. So warm. It feels so good. It is gorgeous. Right, so we're taking you to the palace. I don't know what was going on here. They, um, some old seat, big old rock, something, I don't know if they stored food here for a while. A bit of wildlife floating around. See the odd, the odd bird. Apparently they had a couple of cobra snakes in here a while ago. Once you, as soon as you got bamboo, you're gonna have cobras. Cobras love hanging out in bamboo. There's always like little rats and mice in there in them. Quite a lot of this stuff. You can, you can use this for. It's like a vine. You can use it for tying things off. This path is a bit tricky in the middle of the night. We came, came home last night and stumbled around. <laughs> Almost lost me on this turn. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep going in the wrong direction, you get lost. <laughs> you end up in tears. So this is the second building on the property. This is where Eric and I hang out. This 
this is my bed. It's a bit like being on a boat. When you're on a boat, it's normally first in, first served, and you want to get the bottom bunk. No one likes being on the top bunk on boats, and so there's always this, this battle. And so I was quick with the dead. God, I got it. It's got an air mattress, luxury. Bit of a bit of a mosquito net. I don't know if we need the mosquito nets. Have you had any mosquitoes here? I haven't. No, I haven't been bit once. Praise be to Jesus. No mosquitoes <laughs> here. There we go. This is Eric's bed. He's shown great leadership skills in building this mosquito. This is the first mosquito net he's ever built. It's funny, a lot of the cameramen I take on campaign have been on deadliest catch and have they've been all over Africa or whatever. I think his, his first camping trip it took him for three months into the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he had his first rock climbing the other day. <laughs> that, that was that was uh, that was a interesting one. The steep anyway, learning curve here. He's shown great first. leadership in building this building this mosquito net. And the great thing here, you lie in this spot, you wake up in the morning, and this is the view. Look at that. We've got a little boat sitting out there. Even the sands over there. Look at that. See the white sands there? The thing with this spot is we're really close to where these illegal fishermen are coming. Like they're only a few k's over the other side of the island. Um, so this is our base for the next couple of weeks and we will keep bringing you stories from here. Um, hopefully positive ones. And this is a stunning place.